what's up everyone? Today I'm reviewing this. It is the Dry Vanilla Bean Soda. Now Dry is the brand, Vanilla Bean Soda is the product. I got this four pack at the local Harris Teeter. You know, sometimes Harris Teeter has these like gourmet sodas, like they have Jones Soda and they have Virgil's, which is like my absolute favorite. Um, uh, root beer and then sometimes they have Verner's as we talked in the last uh, video that I love Verner's It's my favorite soda in the world. Um, this is vanilla bean soda. I've never had vanilla bean soda I've had soda with vanilla syrup like if you go to like um, Like uh, Sonic, you know, you can get like a, a Route 66 and get you know all sorts of syrups on top Incidentally, you can get syrup uh, like that at Steak and Shake, which is like my favorite fast food place uh, but I digress. This is vanilla bean soda, and it's made in the U.S., but it's got all these, like, French words on the back. So I imagine it's distributed in France as well. This is clean and clear. Clear like the moonshine I just, I've been drinking. And when I smell, oh. I pick up a vanilla taste. I, I picked up a, sorry, a vanilla smell. I pick up the vanilla smell that you would find in like vanilla extract. It's kind of this like sweet, clean vanilla taste. Um, not artificial vanilla smell, um, but it's certainly coming into the nose. Like I really, really dig that. And first off, I, every time I review soda, I gotta give a shout out to my man, Patrick O'Keefe, who used to run Soda Tasting, which was a great show. Unfortunately, he has canceled it, so I'm, I'm like crossing my fingers, hope, hoping that um, my friend Patrick re, you know, brings back, revives Soda Tasting. Anyway, dry vanilla bean soda. Let's see how this tastes. Oh, no. Not much carbonation, and that's okay. I don't need like crazy carbonation, but it smells more vanilla than it tastes vanilla. And in fact, this tastes like uh, with a, with a small bit of carbonation and the amount of vanilla taste that's coming off of this. It tastes like vanilla water, but it's not even it is not even vanilla water. It is water. Uh, it's like you. Um, you ate something that was very vanilla, like you ate vanilla frosting and you were washing it down with water. That's the type of vanilla taste. This is not enjoyable to me. I, I don't think, much like I think chocolate soda wouldn't be enjoyable to me as well. Um, I kind of wanted something with a little more impact. Like if you're gonna go vanilla, like hit me with vanilla. This is like subtly vanilla and when I, I smell the vanilla only because I, I know it's vanilla, but yeah, I would still pick up, I would still say it's vanilla off the off the smell, but off the taste, I would be like, that is very odd, flat tonic water. Not really digging this. This is the dry vanilla bean soda. And by the way, this four pack was like $6. Now, part of that could be because it's like on the like gourmet section of, of the, um, of Harris Teeter. And you know, sometimes like things on the gourmet section, they don't buy in mass quantity. And then like you pay a premium for all that stuff, whatever. Uh, but this is like $6 for this four pack. Don't like it. I give it a half star rating. Now, uh, slightly related, slightly not related because vanilla is one of my favorite milkshake flavors. And I want to tell you about something that was awesome uh, that I did in the beginning of this week, which is the local PDQ. You know, I guys, I've talked about PDQ all the time. I love PDQ. And I talk about their milkshakes. Well, I got to help judge a milkshake competition at PDQ. PDQ does this awesome thing where they encourage uh, their employees to come up with different flavors and then they vote at a, um, at a store level, branch level, and then those winners go to a corporate wide level and then they choose some of the best flavors to be the seasonal flavors the following year. So I went to my local PDQ and um, all the employees there had, had come up with different concoctions and they narrowed it down to four. There was a spiced pumpkin pie milkshake, which was pretty good. Like you, 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 you drank it and you said, do you drink a milkshake? I guess you drink a milkshake. You kind of chew a milkshake too. But um, it came into my mouth and I was like, yes, that is the fall. And it was really, really tasty. And I liked it. And then the second one I tasted was strawberry cheesecake. 
same thing. Wow, big strawberry taste, cheesecake taste. I really, really like that. And then a third one was peanut butter and jelly. And this one was a little odd to me, I must admit, because you got the peanut butter taste and there was like little bits of, I don't know, like hard jelly-like things. But you kind of had to chew it. Like it was, a, it was a good idea, but not the execution wasn't my favorite. And then the fourth one was pina colada. Now, pina colada is something that you normally get like a like a like a like a, a, a slushy or a smoothie or something like that. Um, rarely do you see a pina colada in like ice cream, right? And this one was pretty good because it had a pineapple taste and it had bits of coconut, like coconut you can chew. And um, I actually chose the pina colada. I voted for the pina colada because it was unique. I've never had that type of milkshake. What I later found out was that the strawberry cheesecake flavor won. Congratulations to the winner. Uh, here is the winner, the guy who works there at PDQ who, who came up with strawberry cheesecake. And yes, it was a great, great milkshake. I think it will do very, very well. Um, for me, it was just like I've had strawberry cheesecake milkshakes before, so that's why I chose the pina colada. Anyway, just want to share that because PDQ is awesome. Uh, those of you who live near a PDQ, you know how awesome it is. Uh, those who don't, or if you see PDQ, because they're expanding, you see PDQ popping up, you got to check out their milkshakes and maybe the strawberry cheesecake milkshake that won in my particular um, branch will make it national and it will be the seasonal milkshake next year. Anyway, just thought I'd share because uh, I love the fact that I could help um, judge a milkshake competition. Put that on my resume. Boom. Anyway. Vanilla bean soda, didn't like it. Question of the day, what is your worst, the worst um, soda experience you've ever had? It could be because where you were drinking it, how you were drinking it, or it could be a weird flavor like this. Leave it in the comment section. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you tomorrow.